Okay, good evening everyone, welcome. Boy, it's good to see everybody. Uh, Yisrael, thank you for uh, trying to uh, entertain the Yom last night. Uh, the, uh, we, uh, we are, we're uh, sponsored by Sholem Fogel, Yonishmas, Rabbi Yaakov Zeb, and Rabbi Yudah Aye, Maos Rivka, Bas, Rabbi Yaakov Yosef, Maos Tzib, Yemiriam, Bas, Rav God, Rabbi Yosef, Ben Sion, Ben Rabbi Yaakov Zeb, by Baruch Ian, Lili Nishmas, Yaakov Chaim Ben Abba, Esther Bas Gittel, Avram Ben Shmuel Akain, by Yaakov Yemansky for Akar Satayf to the Rav and the Zum family and Nachas from children and grandchildren, by A.B. Spry for Nachas from his whole family, by Ed Saleh from London and Joshua Rosenberg, who are sponsoring Baba Basu. Also, we have the sad uh, news that uh, Yeshua Shmuel Eisenberg lost his maternal grandmother today, and we'll learn Le'ilu uh, Nishmasa. Um, let's see, I wrote it down. Shalom, uh, Mr. <sighs> Zev Yehuda, a client. Shalom is Bazav Yud Akain, thank you. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we have an exciting night tonight. I already did the Mishnah Yamas, it's already up. Uh, we, tonight we have a Chumash uh after the daf, but a very interesting daf first. And we welcome in Aaron Swade and Saba Melzachter, Mark Frankel, the Aguda, which is not positioned that I should be able to see anybody. Um, Irving Fishbaum, M M Dr. Guy, Eddie Chazan, Shalom Fogel. Uh, okay, now you're talking. Uh, and uh, uh, Yitzi Muller and uh, Yisrael Mayer Kaplan, Yisrael Fisher, Yitzi Fuchs, Yeshua Shmuel Eisenberg, Baruch Ian, Avram Schenkman, Nachman Chapler, Rabbi Kranz, Daniel Rosenberg, Naftali Jablin, Moshe Lehman, in the shul, we have Michal Avram. I know we have Rich Lenner, uh, but everybody's taking a coffee break over there. Uh, and here comes Marshall Castle. Um, and uh, David Helfgott is joining us now on uh, Kalalashin. As we are tonight, Beli Ayin Hara, we're going on all cylinders, hopefully. Beli Ayin Hara. You know, the Rabbi Nisham reminds us not to take anything for granted. You know, uh, we had we had uh, we, we had a few days ago in our bungalow for about eight hours. We didn't have hot water, so you appreciate hot water. And you know, if chas v'shom, you don't have air conditioning. Boy, do you appreciate air conditioning. And if I don't have internet, well, I don't miss five hundred channels, but I miss my zoomers. So uh, I'm very glad to Hashem that we are bli and are back and running. We are holding um, uh, on Daf uh, Yud Dalin Amid Beis, and we are holding by uh, Umi Kasvan, who wrote the different uh, 24 Sifrei Tanakh. That's four lines from the bottom of Daf Yud Dalin Amid Beis. So it says to Gemara, Umi Kasvan. So it says to Gemara, well, Moshe Kasav. Sifrei, he wrote uh, the Torah, which is called Torah's Moshe. Of course, it's the Rabbi Nishalom gave it to him, but Moshe Rabbeinu wrote it, and uh, Uparshas Bilam. And even though Bilam is, of course, included in the Torah, but since it's the prophecies of a non-Jew, so it mentions it separate, separately. Ve'iv. Um, and he also wrote the Sefer of Eiv, Yoshua Kos of Sifra, Yeshua wrote his Sefer, Shmaina Pesukim Shibat Torah. And the last eight Pesukim in the Torah, where it says, Vayom HaShmaish, Vayom HaShmaish, passed away. Shmuel Kos of Sifra, Shmuel wrote the Sefer of Shmuel, and Shaftim, the Sefer of Shaftim, and Rus, and the Sefer of Rus. David Kosov Sefer Tillam. David wrote Sefer Tillam, which was actually an anthology, Al Yudei Asara Zakenim, and it was from ten sages. Al Yudei Adam Arishin, Adam has a capital there. Al Yudei Malkit Tzedek, 
that's Malki Tzedek Melech Shalem, otherwise uh, known as Shem, Shem Ben Noyach, uh, and Val uh, Yidei Avram, Val Yidei Moshe, Val Yidei Haman, Val Yidei Yedusen, Val Yidei Asaf, and also the three children of Kairach, Val Yidei Shloshim Bnei Kairach. Yermia, Yermia Kasav Sifra, he wrote his Sefer, the Sefer Malachim, and the Sefer of Kings, Vikinus and Eicha. Chizkia Vesiata Kasvu Yeshaya, we're going to see that there's going to be uh, controversy about this, because it says that he wrote Mishlei, which we know that many hold Shlomo Melech wrote, but right now it says uh, that... Uh, that Chizkia and his colleagues wrote Yeshaya, Mishle, Shirashirim, Vikaelis. Again, we'll see that that's going to be uh, contested. Anche Knesses Agdaila, the men of the great assemblage, Kosvu Yecheskel, Ushnaim Osir, the Nevi'im of Trey Osir, Doniel, O Megillas Esther, Ezra Kosov Sifroi, Ezra wrote his Sefer, Vijicha Shal Divrayam, and the Book of Chronicles up to Ezra, Ad Loi. This is a proof to Rav. Ezra didn't come up from Babel. Until he showed his pedigree. So he wrote Divrei up to himself. And then he went up. Oman Aske, who finished Chronicles. Nehemiah ben Chachlaya, Nehemiah the son of Chachlaya, who was Ezra's second. Or right, now we're going to analyze. What does it mean? That Yeshua wrote the last eight psukim in the Torah. Amar Mar Yeshua Kasev Sifra Yishmayin Psukim Shem Torah. He wrote the last eight psukim in the Torah. Tanya Command Amar Shmayin Psukim Shem Torah. The last eight psukim from Vayama Shem Moshe Yeshua Kasev. The Tanya Vayama Shem Moshe Ever Hashem and Moshe Rabbeinu the servant of Hashem died. Ever Shem Moshe Meis the Kasev Vayama Shem Moshe. If Moshe died, how could he write Vayama Shem Moshe? And if he wrote it before it happened, then it's not Torah's Emes. Says the Gemara, Ela Adkan Kosev Moshe, Moshe Rabbeinu wrote until Vayom Hashem Moshe Eved Hashem, Mekan Ve'elech, and from there onward, Kosev Yeshua. Divrei, that's the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda, the Imre La, uh, and others say that it's the opinion uh, of Rabbi Nechemia. Amalei Rabbi Shimon, so Rabbi Shimon says, it's not likely that Moshe Rabbeinu's Torah was deficient. So, um, Amalai, Reb Shimon, Reb Shimon said, as we welcome in Dr. Black and Gedalia Engel, joining us from Nova Scotia, uh, and it's great to have you, Gedalia. Uh, Could I, um, your say for my uncle? Yes. Um, Yaakov Daniel ben Eliezer. Yaakov Daniel ben Eliezer is an Hashem Shilav He should be a Mel Tzayshev for his family, for all of us, and all of Klal Yisrael. So Amalei Rabbi Shimon, so Rabbi Shimon says, Efshe Sefer Torah Chaser Ois Achaf. You're telling me that Moshe Rabbeinu didn't write eight psukim. Could it be? We know that a Sefer Torah that's missing one letter is possible. Efshe Sefer Torah Chaser Ois Achaf Uksiv. And it says, You should take this Sefer, which implies that it was uh, complete. Until Vayamasha Maisha, Maisha Rabbeinu took dictation, or Maisha Aimer Vikaisa. Maisha Rabbeinu repeated it and wrote it down with ink. Mikan Ve'elech, from there onward, as we welcome in Shelley Zeitlin for our 28th Zoom, Zoomer of the evening. Mikan Ve'elech, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Aymer Hashem said it, O Moshe Kaisa Bedema. And Moshe wrote it, but since it didn't happen yet, he didn't write it with ink, he wrote it with tears. Now, of course, this is a very difficult shot, because then again, it's still going to be a safer Torah that's deficient. Uh, it's because the Sefer Torah that's written with tears is possible. Uh, so the, there's a famous shot of the Vilna Gain over here, and that is that Bedema doesn't mean with tears, it means in a mixture. In other words, he wrote the letters all the way till the end of the Torah, the Ape Sukkim, but they, they, they were written with the words forming different words. Remember, we said there's no punctuation and vowelization in the Torah 
because the Torah really could be read as Kula Shema Shel HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's why when, when, when Malachim said to Hashem, Tanoi Hoytcha B'Shamayim, leave your glory in heaven. So what Moshe Rabbeinu asked a good thing, do you have parents that it should be Kabbat HaSavichu V'Simecha? You know, do you have wives that should say, thou shall not commit adultery? Rather, it would have been written with the same letters, but configured with different words to make Shem Yishel HaKadosh Baruch Just to give you an elementary example, the first word in the Torah, Bereshis, could be read Bara Shis, created in six days. So you could break up the words differently. And until Moshe Rabbeinu passed away, they had all the words, but they wrote it in a different mixture. Now this idea that the Rabbi Nishalom dictated the Torah, and he said to them, Baruch, and Baruch said, Baruch was the, uh, the, the, the scribe of Yermia, Yermia read to me all these things, and I took the dictation and wrote it in ink. Says the Gemara, command also Hodam Rabbi Shuba Abba Om Rav Gidal Om Rav. That which Rabbi Shuba Abba said in the name of Gidal and name of Rav. Shmaina Pesukim Shibatayra. The ape Pesukim and the Tayra Yochid Kari Aisan. They can't be broken into two aliyas. Now normally any three Pesukim could be an aliyah, but the last ape Pesukim and the Tayra have to be read by the same person. So the Gemara says Leima Deloy Kareb Shimon. Say it's like Rabbi Yehuda that the eight psukim are different because they were written by Yeshua. Says, well, no, I feel the time of Shimon since they were written initially in a bedema, uh, in a different format. Since there was a difference, so therefore it's considered different and it shouldn't be broken up into two aliyas. The Gemara continues, Yeshua Kasev Sifrei. Yeshua wrote his Sefer. I again asked the Gemara, how could he write? How could he write that? Says the Gemara, to ask Elazar. Elazar finished it. Says the Gemara, Elazar ben Aaron Mace. Says the Gemara, to ask Pinchas. Pinchas finished it. Shmuel Kasev Sifrei. I, Vaksivu Shmuel Mace. Shmuel died. To ask God Achayzim and Asin Anavi was finished by God the Seer and Nasan the Prophet. David Kasev Sefer Tillam Al Yedei Asar is a Kenim. He wrote the Sefer Tillam uh, using ten. It was an anthology of ten sages. Says the Gemara, the Lich of Nami Eisan HaEzrachi is a Mizma from Eisan HaEzrachi. Says well, well, Eisan is Avram. I'm a Rabbi Eisan HaEzrachi. So Avram, that's Avram. How do we know? Ezrachi means the one from the east. And Ksiv Acha Eisan HaEzrachi Uksiv Asa Mi Heyer. Memizrach Tzedek, who stirred from the east righteousness. Of course, that's Avram. So Avram was Eisan Ezrachi. Says Gemara, I Kachashiv Moshe be Kachashiv Haman. As ten, we counted Moshe as one, and Haman was two. But isn't Haman Moshe? Ba'amar Rav Haman zeh Moshe. Ksiv Hacha Haman Ksiv Hasim b'chol beisi nem onu. Doesn't it mean the trust trustworthy one? Says Gemara, Tre Haman have There was another prophet Haman. Moshe Kasev Sifroi Upashas Bilam Ve'iv. So that means that Iv lived at the time of Moshe Rabbeinu. Messiah later, Rabbi Levi Bar Lachma, Dama Rabbi Levi Bar Machma, Iv Vime Moshe Aya. Iv existed during the lifetime of Moshe. Ksiv Hasam, Mi Yitain Eifun Eifai, the Kasman Mili. If only now my words would be written. How will I uh, make it known? So you see it says Ephi by Moshe and it says Ephi by Ev. But Yitzhak it also says Ephi. Where is the, the person who went to hunt? If so, then you should do this. And Vayma Bime Yosef, the Chsib Eifai Haim Roim. Where are they pasturing? Says Gemara, no, we know it's Bime Moshe, like so good. I think we have another proof that it's Bime Moshe, as Mo Kushner joins us. 
with our 29th Zoomer of the evening. And Hoidu Lashem Kitoiv Kinoilam Chastai, that I could see you all. And, uh, and you know, I really missed seeing everybody last night. Uh, the um, almost everybody. Uh, the uh, the the the. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, the uh, so anyway. Um, so the Gemara says, no, we know that it's Moshe and not Yitzchak and not Yaakov and not Esav. Dixiv miyitain b'sefer v'yuchaku. If only the words of Eiv would be written and inscribed in a book. And he's the lawgiver. He took the first for himself. Why? Because there the portion of the lawgiver was hidden. That's where uh, Moshe Rabbeinu's grave was. So therefore we know that Eiv was in the days of Moshe. However, that's not universal. There's a lot of opinions. Rav Amar Eiv b'mei Meraglin Maya. Eiv was in the days of the spies. Because it says, Ksiv hoche ish hoya be'eretz utz. There was a man in the land of Utz. Eiv shmai. And if you remember, Maish Rabbeinu sent the Meraglin and told them to look. Hayesh ba'etz. Is there a man that will protect the generation uh, and therefore it's referring to Eiv. So the Gemara says, how can you compare Utz to Eitz? That's two different words. You can't compare the two. Says the Gemara, no, but we know that Moshe Rabbeinu, when he told the Meraglim to see if there was a man who was an Eitz, he meant to see if, if there was a man that could protect like a tree the whole generation. Says, Is that man still alive? Whose, whose life enjoyed longevity like a tree. And he shields his generation like a tree. Which is an amazing thing. That one tzaddik could protect the whole generation. That's why. Rabbi, so we have to realize that when we say the bracha of Allah tzaddikim in Shemayna Esrei, that's a very, very, very important bracha. Because what we're doing is, is we're, 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 we're acknowledging that the tzaddikim protect the generation. I mean, this was one of the lessons of Stein Vamaira. You could have, you know, five cities that were deserving to be nuked to have a nuclear, they, they, were, they, they were destroyed like Hiroshima. And yet if there would have been 10 tzaddikim, they would have been saved. Even more than that, it says that the marble didn't happen until Mr. Shalach passed away. So even though it was a generation that was deserving to be completely obliterated, but if Mr. Shalach was alive, they wouldn't be destroyed. They, they, their fate was even prolonged until the seven days of mourning of Mr. Shalach. What's the difference that it says that Moshe that it was Mimei Moshe or the Mimei Miracle? That, that Mimei Moshe, Moshe means that it was from the beginning of the days of Moshe in Mitzrayim. There was uh, an opinion that he was in the group with Bilam and Eiv and uh-huh. Yisra. Okay. Um, says the Gemara, Yosef Omer Abonin came to Rav Shmuel Ben Achmeni. There was a certain rabbi standing before Rav Shmuel Ben Achmeni. The Yosef Omer, Eiv lo yoyev lo nivra. Eiv never happened. It's only a parable. It's a parable. Uh, first of all, Rashi says uh, uh, to to learn the answer to those that uh, have kindness on Midas Adin, and also that you can't hold a person accountable for what he says when he's under distress. Amale, so he says no. Be'eretz Utz. There was a man in Eretz Utz, Yiv Shemai. Haya means that he existed. Says the Gemara, but we see that Haya is used even as a parable. When David Amelech sinned with Bathsheba, Nosen Anovi gave him a marshal. El Miato Lurosh Enkol, Kiyim Kivsa Achas Ketana. The poor man has only one sheep, Asher Kona Vayechayeha that he brought and he uh, kept it alive 
right? Would it be right to take it? Now over there, that was only a parable. And it says over there, Vatihi, and it was like a daughter to him. So it says, Vatihi, Mihavi, Ela Marshal Baum, Ahokanami Marshal Baum. Says Gemara, no. Because if it was a marshal, then it wouldn't have to say which town Eev was in. Im Ken Shmai, his name, Vashem Irei Lama, it wouldn't have to give us all the de- details. Rabbi Yechim Rabbi Lazar Dimrei Travai, Eev Me'ele Gai Lahoya. Eev came up from Bavel to Eretz Yisrael, Obeis Midrashe B'Tver Yahoya. And his yeshiva was in Tver Yahoya. Yemesh Nois of Shaliyev, the lifetime of Yev was Mishosh and Nichmi Yisrael of Mitzrayim, Vachi Yotzel, from when they came to Mitzrayim until they left. So that, that places him in Mitzrayim, not from the Oile bubble. Says the Gemara, no, that's only telling you his longevity. Ema Kimishosh and Nichmi Yisrael of Mitzrayim, Vachi Yotzel, in other words, he lived 210 years, but not then. Says the Gemara, Meisvei, you're telling me that he had a base of Medrash in Tveria and he came up with the Oile Bavl, that means he was a Yid. But we see that he was a, a non-Jew. Meisvei Shiva Nevi'im Nisnamu Lomos Ha'olam Seven prophets prophesied for the Goyim. The Elohim Bilam Ba'av Bilam and his father Ba'ar. The Eiv Eliphaz HaTimni Obildad HaShuchi The Tzaifra HaNamasi The Elio Ben Brachel HaBuzi so you see that Eev was a guy. Says Yomolet Tamech Eliu ben Bracha Lami Yisrael Ava. He wasn't a Yid. Vaksev mi Mishpachas Ram and mi Mishpachas Ram is short from the family of Avram. Ella inve inve luumas oilam. They prophesied for the guy. Achanami Eev was a Yid, but inve inve luumas oilam. He prophesied for the guy. Says the Gemara, Atukulu Nevi'e, other prophets, Miloi Inve Lumasailam, didn't they also prophesy Lumasailam? Says the Gemara, no, these seven, Hosam Ike Nevi'as, the other prophets, Ike Nevi'asail Yisrael, their primary prophecy was for Yid. Hacha Ike Nevi'asail Lumasailam. Meisvei, Chasid Hayab Lumasailam, there was a pious person amongst the Goyim, the Eev Shmai. The Loibala Ailam and he didn't come to the world, El Kidele Kabel Shah. His suffering brought him into Ailam Abba. Says the Gemara. Havi Akadish Baruch love you soon. Hashem brought against him suffering. His khal mechara for Megadev, he started cursing and blaspheming. Kafulay Akadish Baruch Shara Bailam Azeh. Hashem redoubled his reward in this world that he shouldn't get Eilam Abba. They letarred him in Eilam Abba. So that's a, a different opinion. And it says that he was a guy. So which one is it? It says it was a chassid amongst whom was Eilam. So the Gemara says, you're right. It's a, uh, from before, it's a machloikis tanoi. Tanoi, the Tani Rabbi Lazar, Eimer, Eiv b'mei shvaita shayftim haya. Eiv was in the days of Rus. Vayehi, b'mei shvayt ha-shoyftim, shenemar, hein atem kulchem chiyusem, you're all alive, excuse me, hein atem kulchem chazisem, you, you, you've all beheld this, and why do you act with such vanity? Uh, you see what happens to a bad person, v'lama zeh hevel tebolo, why do you act with vanity? Now, saying that the whole generation acted with vanity, Ezo Darsha Kulei Hevel, that's all vain, Heve Yomer Zed Darshel Shvait HaShayftim, where not only the Hamayin Am was bad, but they even judged the judges. Rabbi Shuban Karachaymer, another opinion. Eiv Bimei Achashverosh Hayim. Eiv was in the days of Achashverosh. Now this is getting really interesting. Shenem Avaloi Nimtzu Nashim Yafais Kibnois Eiv Bechal Aretz. They weren't fi- found daughters as beautiful as the daughters of Eiv in the whole land. Now, when did they look through the whole land? Ezel Darshan is Bakshabai Nashim Yafis, that they made a beauty contest for the entire land for 127 Medinas. Says, but they made beauty contests 
also in the days of David. The Ema be made David. They sought for him a beautiful maiden. Says, well, no, that was only in Eretz Yisrael. Hosem Bechol Gvil Yisrael. Halcha Bechol Eretz, throughout the land, 127 Medinas. Rav Nasen Amar Iyav be made Malchus Shvahaya. Iyav was doing the, the empire of Sheba. Shenema Vatipul Shva Batikachem. Shva attacked and took Iyav's animals. The Chachamim Aymim Iyav be made Kazdim Aya. It was in the days of the Kazdim. Shenema Kazdim, some of Shlesha Roshim. They went with three battalions against Eev's uh, animals. Yesh Aymim, Eev be made Yaakov Aya. Eev was in the days of Yaakov. Dina Bas Yaakov Nasa. And Dina, the daughter of Yaakov, married Eev. Siv Acha, that the way you're talking is Kedaber Achas and the Volos Tedaberi, is talking like one of the uh, foul women. Uksiv Asim, and it says by Dina, Kinavalo Asim Yisrael, that Shechem did something foul with Dina. So there's an opinion that Dina married Eiv. After Moshe Rabbeinu put Dina in the box, uh, Yaakov put Dina in the box to avoid her marrying Esav, she went ahead and married Eiv. Now, the Kulu Tanoi Svirulu de Eiv mi Yisrael Ava, all the previous Tanoim hold that Eiv was a Jew. Bar, except Levar uh, Yesh Aymim, except for the Yesh Aymim that Ia was at the time of Yaakov, because it, it, it says that Ia had prophecy. And if he was a guy, if it was Umasailam after Har Sinai, it says, Bosset the Shach of Moshe. After Moshe Rabbeinu passed away, was the Shechina by Goyim. Moshe Rabbeinu asked that no more should the Shechina be on the Oiv He saw the havoc of Bilam. There'll be a distinction between I and uh, uh, there'll be the 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 the, 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 the uh, I and uh, our, your nation will be different from the rest of the world. But the, it, when, if you hold Eiv be Yaakov, that's before Moshe Rabbeinu's Tvila, so then he could have been a guy. Amar Rabbi Yechinen, Doirei Shel Eiv, Shatav Bezimahava. The generation of Eiv was immersed in promiscuity and immorality. You've seen what happens to the sinner. And the word hevel, tabolo, acting with vanity, refers to lewdness. Turn, turn the perfect one. Uh, and, and let us see you. And, and therefore the term chazisem refers to uh, looking at women. So it shows that it was a generation of immorality. Says Gemara, but maybe Chazisim over here means prophecy. Ema ben Dixiv Chazoin Yeshayo ben Amit. So you see that Chazisim could also be a vision of prophecy. Says Gemara, but that would not uh, fit with Lama Zehevel Tebalu. That wouldn't fit. Imkain Lama Zehevel Tebalu Lamali. What does that mean with Hevel Tebalu? And uh, it's wow, we have people joining us now. Uh, welcome, Ruvain. Uh, better late than never, as they always say. Uh, and uh, welcome. Uh, uh, we just got a, our 32nd Zoomer, Yehuda from Yerushalayim. Wow, it's really, it's real. Yes, yes, I'm telling you. Imagine, Marshall, if you would lift a finger. Unbelievable. Imagine. Uh, imagine. You, you, you would be swimming in bourbon already. Uh, the, uh, my ear. I'm reflecting it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so, so uh, Vamar of Yechiden, my dixiv vayihi be mei shvaita shayftim. What's the meaning? And it was in the days of uh, that uh, the judges judged. Now we said already it means Dersha Shafat es Shaifteha. And says the Gemara, Dersha Shaifet es Shaiftav. You know, it says 
First, uh, beautify yourself, and then only then beautify others. The judges in the time, they, uh, you know, they weren't uh, squeaky clean, and it says people that live in glass houses should not throw rocks. So, says the Gemara, if the judge said, take the toothpick out of your teeth, I'm alive. They would tell him, "Tell Kaira me beinenecha. Take the beam from between your eyes." In other words, you know, look in your backyard. You're doing worse things. I'm alive. Kaspcha, you're the sigim. Your silver is full of dross. Your fil- silver is full of imperfections. I'm alive. They would tell the judge, "Sabek mol b'mayim." Your uh, wine is mixed with water. So you know, uh, don't give us muscle. Look what's going on over here. It's really, this is really something. And I'm, I'm really thankful, Hashem, thank you that the internet is holding up. I was having nightmares, you know, it's a chumash here tonight. And what's going to be, you know, Mark says, you know, he's, you know, he can't have any of this shoddy stuff over here, you know. Uh, the, uh, okay. Who I did this pretty fast, you know, it was... Take a drink. Not very nice to drink. Oh, there's a cup there. Baruch Atari Nelein Melchi Lam Shakol Niyibidvar. Online. Hi. Bottoms up, Sada. Oh. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. I'm Rav Shmuel Ben Achmeni. I'm Rav Yechlin. Yeah, I'm Rav Yechlin. Whoever says that when it says Malkishva, it means the queen of Sheba, Isha, he said, My Malkishva, what does Malkishva mean? It means the kingdom, Malkusa Dishva. It means the kingdom of Sheba, the, the monarch of Sheba. Um, says the Gemara, Now it's going to tell us how Eve started to have so much trouble. And Hashem's celestial angels gathered around Hashem. And the Sutton came amongst them. Hashem said to the Sutton, Where are you coming from? And the Sutton says, I've been looking over the world. Of oh, and he said, Rabbeinu Shalaylam, Shatati Bekalaylam Kulay, I flew around the whole world, Veloimatsasi Nemon Ka'avducha Avram, and I didn't find anybody trustworthy like your servant Avram. Shemartala, you told him, Kumis Alech Baruch Salarka Lurachab, walk through the land, its length and its breadth, Kilacha et Nana, I'm giving you the whole land, and yet, when he didn't even have a plot to bury Sarah, until he had to pay through the nose 400 shekel kesef. He didn't have any question about you. So, you know, uh, there's nobody like Avram. So Hashem said to the Sutton, he really set a challenge to the Sutton. Did you check out my Eved Eiv? There's no one like him in the land. Something about, you know, something like that they talk about Marshall. Right? There's no one like him in the land. Right? So I saw, I saw Marshall's eyes light up. Amr Eb Yechnen, Godol Amr Eiv, it's greater is what it says by Eiv than what it says by Avram. Deal of Avram, it's not bad. After the Akedah, I know that you're God-fearing. But by Eiv, it carries on more. Or by Eiv, as we welcome him, Abe Arbach, for our 33rd Zoomer of the evening. Whoa, whoa. Marshall is just 17 shy of a, a brand new case of bourbon. Says the, it's got to be 70, Marshall. Says the Gemara, 
Or Be'ev Ksiv, by Eev it says, Ish Tom V'yasher, a man who is perfect and upright, Yerea Likim, God-fearing, V'sar Merah, and turning away from evil. I mean, this is in competition with Noyach. Now, my V'sar Merah, what does it mean that he turned away from evil? Amr Rebbe Abba Bar Shmuel, Eev Vatron B'mamay Noyaya. He, he was Michael money. Minagai Shalaylam, the way it works in the world, Noisin Katsi Pruta Lachedvani. If you if you have a worker that you have to pay a half a pruta, what you do is is uh, you buy a pruta of merchandise from the grocer and you give the worker half of it. But Iev Vitra Mishalai, Iev gave the worker the whole pruta. Vayana Sotan es Hashem, and the Sotan said to Hashem, Vayaymer Achinam Yerei Yev Elikim? Does Yev fear God for nothing? Halayat Sachta Ba'adoyu Ba'ad Beisa, you protect him and his household, and, uh, and, and, and he has all kinds of uh, uh, possessions throughout the land, my Maisa Yod of Beirachta, what does it mean that you blessed his handiwork. It means whoever got a coin from Eiv Mizborech, he, 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 he prospered. Mayu mikneyu poritz boritz. And what does it mean? His cattle spread through the land. The cattle of Eiv broke down the natural order of things. Minaga shalaylam ze'evim hargim o'izim that wolves kill goats. Mekneu shall ev, ezim hargim as a zavim. His goats kill the wolves. However, the ulam shlachna yodcha v'gav v'chol asher loi, but if you send your hand against him and you touch all that is his, although, im loi al panecha yivar cheka, he'll, 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 Blessing over here is a euphemism. He'll let you have it, the Rabbi Nishalayim. Vayomer Hashem ala satan so now Hashem gives almost a blank check to the satan. Vayomer Hashem ala satan he nekol asher loy biyadcha everything that is his I hand over to you. Rak elav al tishlach yadcha you just can't take his life. We're going to continue with this uh, remarkable story tomorrow. As you see, uh, we have another, Mark isn't complaining, but we have another very exciting daf tomorrow. Shear is 9.15. Shear, I'm Misada Kedushin for a wedding in, uh, of my wife's Mechutin, is as a, a child, marrying off a child, I'm the Misada Kedushin, and uh, I want to leave myself enough time. I'm going to be broadcasting tomorrow night from Yitzi Muller's house. So Shir will be tomorrow at 9.15. And now we're going to do the Chumashir Rabbi Isai. So don't go anywhere.